Hey yo folks, what's going on? Welcome back. It is tourney morning. It has been like three years since I've been able to say it's tourney morning since my old high school days. But uh, yeah, we entered a tournament today. It was really last minute actually. Basically my buddy Hunter has a friend and his friend and his dad were going to enter a tournament but his dad got called into work. So then he called Hunter to see if he wanted to go in the tournament and then Hunter was like, nah, I have work. And then Hunter called me to see if I wanted to do it. And now I am now in this tournament. We learned about this 10 o'clock last night. It is now 5 10 in the morning we got like an hour drive ahead of us but the tourney today is on lake talquin a lake i've fished one time before four years ago in a tournament and i came in second place caught an eight pound 12 ouncer and then two dinks which put me in second but for those of you guys who know anything about lake talquin it is a deep ledge fishery guys uh i think i caught 10 pounds in that tournament maybe 11 and the winning weight was uh 35 for a top five bass all caught all seven and eight pounders caught off of ledges deep cranking, which I am the least experienced in. So I'm nervous for today's tourney. I've done zero lake research and I really wanna bring like real tournament fishing videos to you guys where we go out, we pre-fish, we do lake research, uh, we, we go test the waters. Today, we're going in blind. So yeah, I'm nervous. I'm not counting this as an actual tournament video because I really do wanna take that stuff seriously. Like I'm really competitive. If there's two things I like in life, one, night fishing for sharks on the beach. One of my favorite things like on, on this planet, and number two is tournament fishing, guys. I just love the competition. Today is just fun for content for you guys. You kind of get to see how I try to figure out a lake, the workings behind Norm's brain. We're going out with a subscriber on his boat. We have my boat here. I'm kind of bringing my whole boat there, and then we're going to get tackled. I don't know what to throw. I really don't. I'm nervous. It's time for us to get on the road. Whew. 38 degrees out in April in Florida. Probably the worst day to go fishing, but tourney time, baby. I'm back. I'm so pumped for tournaments. Guys, help us get to 500,000 subs by the end of the year. We already hit 250,000, so guys, thank you so much for that. But uh, I think I've covered everything. Lake Talquin, it's cold. Never fished there, but once. It's gonna be a fun time. Let's go. Like last time, like the first tournament I fished out here was my senior year of high school. And I won big bass, which was at 812, even though the other guys caught like five eight pounders. And I came in second and we, we got a check. So my, my tournament fee is covered today, which is epic because uh, they already paid for it. And they're like, hey, you wanna hop on the boat? I was like, bet, man. So we have nothing to lose and a lot. To, if we somehow pull this off today, we got a lot to gain, man. If I, if I take a dove in this tourney with zero, like zero knowledge whatsoever, that would be epic, but it's not gonna happen. You know, I'm still going to try my best. I'm not going in it to lose. That's the last thing I want to do. But if I do, I'm not counting this as an actual tournament. Guys, I like, I seriously, I want to take tournaments very serious. I love doing the fun challenges and all, but something about tournament fishing just, I, I love it so much. So, I'm so not prepared for this one. So, don't judge me if I lose. Judge me on the next one when I actually prepare for it and do pre-fishing and do lake research. And if I lose that one, then you guys can make fun of me. I'm just tying on random stuff. I know I know Lake Talquin is like a crankbait, curly tail worm, uh, like even square bills around docks and stuff. That's what I've heard. It's a very deep lake with a ton of ledges and a lot of logs, which I'm also driving this dude's boat. And I've never navigated Lake Talquin before. And I'm pretty sure he has a $60,000 boat. So, uh, I mean, I, I guess if you trust me that much. I guess this guy was actually a subscriber and a fan of Hunter. And then they met at Bass Pro, and then he's also a fan of me. And now we're going fishing with them. So you guys never know. Like maybe one day you'll go fishing with me in a tournament, randomly last second. But I think we are all we're all rigged, ready to go, man. I'm nervous, dude. All these guys have been pre-fishing. They know what's going on. We're going in blind. But uh, hey, I mean a story's got to start somewhere, right? First tourney, and I really think it can only get better from here. Let's go. So there's a few concerns that I have uh, for today's video. One, Zed, I don't know if you're going to be able to get on the boat. This is like a two-person thing. Like on tournaments, normally you have to have like a camera guy boat to follow you around. So I don't know if they're going to let you like sit on the boat with us. So you might just be in the truck. <laughs> I just thought of that. So um, that's one problem. And two is I really want to go into tournaments with like knowledge. And this is going to just drive me crazy because I know there's a ton of like older guys that have been fishing out here for 40 years and know what's going on. And uh, me, I have no clues. So so I really wanna bring you guys like actual tournament videos where we go pre-fish, we figure everything out. And I 
I really fish it to like my true fisherman's ability, my max capability. I don't know how I'm trying to say this. I, I want to like actually show you guys like me being a full out fisherman, like no challenges, like figuring out a tournament and going and trying my hardest at it with that includes like pre-fishing, like research, all that type of stuff. And uh, today I'm not going to be able to show you guys that. So we're not counting this one on official norm tournaments. This is a fun last minute derby. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of concerned with, like if we catch one fish, I'm happy with today's tournament. Honestly, it's freezing cold. Uh, which normally even hurts the shallow bite more and this lake is a deep lake bite already anyways so uh i don't know like we don't we don't have any wave points we don't have any lake knowledge uh man it's gonna take a miracle for us to make something happen today but i gotta hop on i-10 and i will be there in 30 minutes figure out how to use, drive a crazy nice boat I don't even know what time the tournament ends. I don't know if it's a five fish or a three fish. The last time I did one of these, it was a three fish Stay tournament. So I'm excited though. I'm waking up, guys. Just give me, just give me a little bit. It's 5 a.m. All right. Calm down. I'll bring the energy. I'll bring the hypeness. And even if we don't catch anything, it's gonna be a good time. Exactly. Yeah, we need the good luck that. tournament. Dude, this is my first tournament in three years, man. I don't think you understand how important this is to me. And I just, I just don't want to come in dead last. That's all. We might need. Jeez, I'm trying to remember. We we used to have good luck songs back in the day. Shoot, we're playing, we're playing Cardi B the whole way there because you didn't speak yeah, up. <laughs> <laughs> From my understanding, I thought this was a derby. The one that I entered and I came in second place. There's only like 13 or 14 boats, maybe 20 at the max. Uh, guy just texted me. He said there's over a hundred boats. Lake Talquin's a big lake, but it's. <laughs> In my opinion, it's not that big. So, uh, yikes. I hope we don't come in 100th place today. Man, I was not excited. I, I don't even know how big this boat ramp is. I got the boat behind me. I don't know if we're gonna be able to park anywhere. I thought we were fishing a little derby with, you know, 15 to 20 boats. There's 100 people out here, man. That's two, oh, 200 people, because there's two people on each boat. At, he said at least 100 boats. This is the biggest tournament I've fished in my life. I've fished 80 boat tournaments. I've fished, oh, that's where we're supposed to go. Yo, look, dude, what? Yo, it's a full-on tournament, man. Bro, the parking lot is full, Chief. I don't, I've never even been here before. I don't even know where to go. We're going to go this way. I don't. I can't even see the road. I really hope this is a road and we're not going to a ditch. Is this a road? I don't even have a green gun. <laughs> Five non guys we are totally prepared for the tournament we're here we i just figured out this is the mlf tournament i don't know uh you know if lunkers is here does lunkers fish the mlf yeah. that'd be sick if he's here though. <laughs> <laughs> this is an actual tournament guys i had no clue what i was getting myself into about 10 minutes ago this is like the legit like the pros are here and i and, and norm is also here guys pro youtube series elite fisherman champ I uh, currently have not lost a single tournament. I've never fished a single tournament either, so flawless record. What are we doing, man? Do you know? Do you know where the fit? Have you pre-fished this at all, or are we just are we just winging it? We're winging it. Here at the tournament, I, I figured out that this is um, a MLF tournament. There's a big stand here. I had no clue what I was getting myself into, but we're here, man. There's a whole crowd of people, and they're talking about something out here. So we're gonna go see. I don't even know what time weighing is. Really have no clue what's going on, but it's cool, man. It's cool. First tourney, no big deal, you know. No big deal. Guys, there's like there's literally hundreds of people here. I've never been to a fishing tournament this big in my whole entire life. And I really thought when I woke up this morning, I was entering a derby with like 20 people, maybe. We get back at 4 p.m., so I guess it's like an all-day thing. So it's going to hurt even more if we don't catch anything in like 12 hours. So we got a little bit of time to figure out the lake today. I'm pumped. First light's like at 7 o'clock, and it is, uh, what time is it right now? It is 6.52, so we got like 10, 15 minutes. We got to rig stuff up. Literally, I figured out about this so late last night. I have two of my pond rods rigged up, and that's, that's all. So I don't know what they're eating out here don't have any combos. I got hopefully 15 pound fluorocarbon works and we're just gonna go give her a dangle today. That's the plan. 
Let's, uh, let's get back to the boat. All right, guys, daylight is now safe light. We're boating 19 out of, I think, 120 something. So uh, yeah, we got to get in the boat and go. All right, guys, tourney time. We're here, we're ready to go. Uh, my first tournament in three years. Clock and time is uh, four o'clock. I don't know if there's a minimum. I'm assuming it's either 12 or 15. Uh, we'll cross that road once we get there. And yeah, as you can tell, there's 120 boats. We're boat number 19, so we gotta get to the front of the pack. I'm pumped. I have a whole boat. There's graphs on this bad boy, this whole Cadillac. And we got Parker up front, who also has a YouTube channel. And Parker's gonna be my partner today. Say what's up, Parker. Give him a, give him a, what's give up? A I'm owing one in tournaments right now. So I'm really confident today. Well, I fished out here a grand total of one time in my whole entire life. So what, what's the move, dude? What are we throwing today? Actually, we need to tie stuff on. I haven't even tied on my rods. For the dam, I tied on a 16 foot, I think it's Rapala, 16 foot crankbait. So it's, it's like 20 foot there. So it's it's deep there. So I'm a, it's a like bluegill and chartreuse pattern. So I'm gonna see if that'll work. And then once we get on that reed line, I'm gonna throw either a Kraken crawl or a bandita bug in the Okeechobee color or the black and blue color. I slay them on those. So should I tie anything on like right now? Like what do I need? Um, <laughs> what what do you have on so oh, far? Dude, I don't know. What I'm kind of sketchy about is uh, Zade is on the boat with us. Number one, we gotta run the most dangerous lake in uh, in Tallahassee with all the logs out here. Number two, Zade's on the boat with us. I thought this was like a little derby where we could talk with somebody and be like, you know, there's 15 boats, can we have the camera guy on? But there's 120 boats out here and we got a third dude on the boat, which uh, is, that's kind of sketching me out a little bit. I hope you can come with us, Zade. We're just gonna send it and hope they don't say anything. And then if they elam us, they elam us, but. Zade's never caught a bass before or even a fish in his whole exactly. entire life, so. Hopefully we'll do some sweet talking. Who is calling me, man? Oh, Gotta get it, boys. Let's go. Spot one. Oh no, we don't have it to ourselves, dude. There's already somebody here. No, they're going in the cove, I guarantee it. Oh shoot. Guys, nothing like a cold run in the morning that'll wake you up. Parker, what are you throwing? I'm, I'm throwing the white, uh, white chartreuse chatterbait. We at least got to put a bag together. A challenge. Guys, I'm a little nervous right now. Luckily, we were boat 19. People are still launching off. There's another boat headed over towards the dam right now. We literally just decided, you know, it's a dam. Let's go throw crankbaits on it. Uh, spot number one though. It's go time. I talked with one dude who uh, actually was on my high school fishing team, and he's fishing this tournament too, and he came up and said he thinks they're on beds. So, that's all the information I got on this lake right now. It's early morning. Dude, this dude is coming in hot, bro. We need to start casting. There's three people on this dam. It's not a very big dam at all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, spot one. That's what we got going on here. Crankbait. I just stole Parker's rod and reel combo. So, we're going to let her go. As of six hours ago, I thought I was sleeping in today, Parker. Oh, man. But now we're here to win. When I woke up, I was like, I don't know if I want to go. <laughs> Guys, it is so cold outside. As you can tell, there's a mist all over the top of the water. And one thing that I have learned in my fishing years, <laughs> I'm just going to pretend like I'm a pro now. I'm kidding, guys. But uh, rocks do hold warmth. And on a cold day like this, I figure rocks not be a good or a bad place to start in. We already caught ourselves a, a tree pounder. Let's go. <laughs> I do not like how these guys just cut us off uh, here. We might have to fight them. Well, well guys, uh, spot number one was a bust. There's like 12 boats fishing in front of us on the dam, and I didn't see a single one of them pull anything in. So we are going to make a move. Try to find, what do you want to do? Grass, docks? It's going to yeah, up to you. I'm, uh, I'm thinking we should go. I'm taking some of this marshmallow back there. This is 
We're leaving spot one, Parker. We need to get some of the boat. Do we have a time check? What time is it, Dina? 7.58. 7.58? Alright, so we got one, two, three, four. We got eight hours. That's a lot of time, kind of actually. Long, yeah. uh, there was them, yeah. probably like 12 boats on this dam fishing. We were fishing behind like six of them. So, fortunately, I haven't seen anybody pull anything up yet. So, we're going to go try to find some grass, maybe some docks. Something looks good to us. We really have no clue what's going on out here. Uh, super cold though, it is April, so assuming that since it is uh, April time, hopefully we'll be able to find some stuff shallow. Uh, we were not, we didn't even have a bite on the dam the first hour, so time to make another run yep. and uh, keep her going. Half the tournament is all mental, and the other half is actually fishing, so just gotta keep a good mindset, yes, try to figure them out. We got eight hours to do so. Yes, Let's go. A little bit, and that's, we're gonna go back. I'll let you know. Get on it. Put a Texas rig on. My hands are so cold, bro. Come on, Dad. Actually, I'll keep those on. It's a little sunny out. All right. I'm liking this. We got some reeds, guys. We're kind of still on the main lake. There's another boat around here, too. There's so many, so many boats in this tournament. It's ridiculous. All right, Parker. Let's put five in the boat, man. Let's do this thing. Did oh, you actually? My have gosh, one? dude. Oh my freaking gosh, dude. You're kidding. That's back up in there. Look, look. Oh yeah, he took your crawl. I, I, I started reeling and I he started fighting back and it got off. Dadgummit. Took my appendage, dude. <laughs> At least oh. something to eat us today. Took my whole daggum crawl tail and all. Oh boys, we had a bite. But of course it was when I was dragging it and controlling the troll motor. Dang it, dude. Well. I guess I got what I asked for. I just asked for a bite. <laughs> hey, we're near fish though, which is good. Get a 100% bite, so we're around them. We just gotta work this area very uh, thoroughly. Nice and slow. Steady wins the race. Actually paying attention. Yep, pay attention a little bit better and we'll be good. <laughs> Last bullet weight, so hopefully I won't snap off again. I just snapped off on a reed. But guys, basically what we're doing right now is uh, we're off the main lake, just uh, flipping. Parker's got the Kraken Craw on and the Okeechobee Craw. I've been throwing the Speedworm around. I might even tie in the Bandito Bug because that's what uh, John and I were catching some tanks on uh, two weeks ago in Texas. So we might be figuring something out, a little pattern. If we get another bite, we might be fishing reeds like all day. If I don't catch anything, Hunter's gonna make fun of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for real? Oh my gosh. I got one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got a fish, man. He is so tiny. He is so tiny, and we don't have a. You think that's 12? Guys, look at that. I don't know if that's 12, man. I don't know if that's gonna keep. And we don't. You don't have one of those, uh. I don't know, boys. That's a close one. We're going to throw her in because we don't have a ruler. That's right there on the edge of like 11 to 12, I think. That fish bit so soft too, I was like, maybe. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's go. All right, Parker, I did my job. It's uh, your turn to catch the, the kickers. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll cool that out. <laughs> I'm just glad we got one in the boat, hey, man. That's fine. Hey, that's perfect. Guys, we're pretty sure it's a 12-inch minimum, not 100% positive, but I think that's what it is. I'm just happy I didn't skunk, man. Everything after this is just bonus. Let's go. There we go, man. Let's go. Building up momentum, that's we what I like to see. We might have a half-pounder, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're not coming in with nothing, unless it's under 12 inches, and they disqualify us for bringing it in the dink. So there's lily pads up this way? Yeah, just it's just around the corner. All right, so... Guys, we have one fish in the boat. Is it 12 inches? I hope so. <laughs> we, uh, we're gonna get a ruler app. We actually learned that a, a iPhone is 6.3 inches, so we're gonna measure it, but we're gonna head to the next spot, which is right up here. Lily pad field, probably do the same stuff, just flipping and uh, dragging worms. Might be a slow day, it's cold out. Yeah. If we can put five in the boat though, I'm happy. I'm already happy with one in the boat. Thanks. That looking good?
that felt good. Yo, it's fish. Got oh my. What you have him? God, dude, he was big too. Golly. Crack and crawl, man. I said the whole can he freaking, t dude. Yeah, that was straight weight, man. I got way too much of them too, guys. That was a good one, man. That was my second flip with the crack and crawl, guys. I just tied this feed worm off. Just be, I can't even talk. Dude, he picked it up so soft too. Oh my, I said the hook. Ooh, what was that? Straight weight, like way bigger than the other one. Oh, that's gonna haunt me, man. That was a good one. We needed that. I don't, that might have been four or five pounds, dude. Though I said the hook and it, it, like, it didn't move. Yeah, and I, and I started pulling him and I felt it pull out of his mouth. I'm mad about that one. That one was. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Should have jacked him harder, man. But there's sometimes when you just set the hook into a fish and you know it's not under like four or five pounds. Yeah. And yeah, that was what that felt like. Dang. Ah, uh, that makes me sick. It's game changer right there, man. I had him on for probably four or five seconds too. You cast right like in there. I cast it right there and I brought it out like maybe four or it. five yards. Yeah, that was that was the fish, man. That was the kicker. I couldn't I couldn't even feel the fish either, man. They're eating it so soft, it's ridiculous. Well, guys, we just missed a uh, a very sizable fish. I could just tell from the uh, the bite and me setting the hook into him. But I'm actually I'm I'm really glad that we're doing this tournament. We've already got more bites than I thought. Uh, we're one for three on hookup ratio, which is not too great uh, at all. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. But it is good uh, good practice for when I want to do uh, so, some more tournaments uh, in my boat and stuff too. You know, to really be on your game because this lake fishing stuff. I mean, the bites will be an hour in between, so you're kind of just used to dragging and nothing happening. But I feel like if I would have jacked that guy a little bit harder, I maybe would have got a better hook set. All right, guys, it's 10.05. Uh, we have one, maybe keeper. I think it is. We're going to measure it with our iPhones because we looked at the length of iPhones. Uh, I lost one, and uh, I, set, I set the hook on quite a few fish from doing this YouTube thing. You know, we go fishing every day. And the weight of that fish and the amount of time I had him on, like, in my mind, no way. He could, it could have been under five with how heavy it was. And uh, who knows if it was eight or nine. I mean, Lake Talquin's known for biggins. And we're flipping too, which is, uh, it's kind of like a low bite, but better quality uh, strategy. All right. And we're flipping the reeds. But uh, yeah, I lost it and I feel like I want to cry. That really could have been an epic. That would have been sick. Epic, <laughs> epic. Just like yeah. pull, pulling up with a tank. I and we've just... never, fished out, or never fished out here before. Just a random tournament. And we, we, that definitely would have put us up there, I feel like. Just that one fish. But I was just checking on little blood back there, and all of a sudden. Yeah. Oh, oh. Bro. Like, oh shoot. I can barely feel it, man. They're eating it so soft today. But we're going to go. Where are we going to go, actually? We're just going to go run around and look. Um, I think we're going to go hit up that cove with those with the, all those lily pads, because the wind's starting to pick a little bit. Yeah, go get somewhere protected from this wind. Maybe even catch some pickerel, you know. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Oh, shake it off, shake it off, Norm. <laughs> I was not expecting to get bit by a big one today at all. That we, caught me off guard. I, I will admit it. But no, I'm ready. We didn't get skunked. That's all. We, we didn't get skunked. Nice skunk. Nice and we're getting bites we too, some. man. Yeah, as long as we catch some, we're good. All right guys, we're here at the new spot. We're fishing pads now, just mixing her up. Oh. See, at first, we came into this with zero expectations whatsoever. And then we caught a dink and I was like, heck yeah, we did better than expected. But then that last bite came for me. And uh, then I was like, dang, we actually could uh, 
with that fish and a couple more really been up in this thing so i'm on my a game now i didn't even realize that i was going to have the opportunity to catch something nice today and uh yeah that was we just we're going to put it in the past and uh, try to catch our best fish that we can they're all tangled up heck yeah <laughs> bro of course it was my second flip all right i'm gonna stop talking about it we're just gonna forget about it we're just gonna forget about it that was that was a big fish so all right crack and crawl do your thing i don't like how many boats are back here yeah that's a good bit of place back here huh? <laughs> all right let's catch them man make it happen all right guys so we tried the pads for about 45 minutes or so no bites and we're also fishing behind like there's so many boats in here that the only success we've had is on those reed lines even though we've only got three bites myself too catching one dink and having a very solid one on and we don't know how big Parker's was but that's the only success that we've had and we figure since we have I think five hours left in this tournament to just go what we found so far we tried the dam didn't work we tried the pads didn't work I think the reed lines and just toughen it through especially after having that really solid bite that we might be able to find some big ones so we're about to make another run and, uh, and give it a try Guys, we got the big one, baby! <laughs> it's an alligator, man. Somehow, some way. I, I think I have an alligator on. It's can barely you, moving. Can you feel it moving? Oh! <laughs> Bring him up! Yo! Bring him up! That's our tournament fish. Man. Oh, he snapped no. off! No! Dang. That was the most fun we had, guys. <laughs> so, guys, what happened was... I threw up on the rocks like we've been doing all day, not catching anything, and I think I get stuck on a rock, and we pull up to get my rattle trap off the rock, and there's a big alligator with sideways, like a six-foot alligator gar in its mouth, and my rattle trap was stuck either on the alligator gar or on the alligator itself, and it snapped me off. That was the lake, that was the lake record, guys. If I would have landed that, we definitely would have won the tournament. That was a lot of weight. Definitely, I think we're on a pattern here. We're, we're finally figuring them out. <laughs> when you just don't know where to go in a tournament, so you fish the dam, and you catch the biggest alligator in the lake, pretty successful day, I would say. Lake record. That's a lake record. Yeah. Oh, boys. We're at reeds or yeah. like Terrible. All right, guys. Well, turns out we, we got here an hour and a half early. We didn't understand the time we were supposed to be back. But we're just going to cut our losses. But yeah, here's our one bass. So we didn't skunk today, so that's good. We're keeping the no skunk alive since I think October of last year, which I'm happy about that. You know, we, we caught something. And I came out today with the expectations of if we caught one fish, I was going to be happy. And uh, yeah, little tiny dude. We're going we're gonna to dip her in the water, let her go. All right. There Jimmy goes. 